first. The drive home after work is miserable when it's raining, but the invention of the windscreen wiper has helped provide a clear view ahead for many car drivers. The modern windscreen wiper is made of two key parts. First, the arm that holds the wiper blade, and second, the flexible rubber blade itself. Wiper blade production begins with this bizarre-looking material. This strange and lumpy substance is rubber in its raw form. Synthetic rubber is available, but this factory uses the natural variety, made with sap harvested from rubber trees grown in Malaysia. First, the raw rubber needs to be rolled out. The aim is to completely remove all the air bubbles from the substance, which can take a little time. After about 30 minutes, it looks more like this. Smoother and, well, more rubbery. Next, one of the most important elements of wiper blade rubber can be added. Carbon black powder. This gives the rubber its traditional black hue and strengthens it to help it resist the elements. The rubber has been rolled out and now rolls off the conveyor into the mixing machine, where the carbon black powder will be added. What emerges from the mixer looks a lot more like the traditional rubber that we would recognize. So we've got the rubber for the blades, but there's more to wipers than just that. The next step is to build the arms that will hold them and carry them back and forth across your windscreen. They're made using this sheet steel. It's fed into this press, which is very accurate and wastes very little metal from the roll. The press can produce over 900,000 arms every day. The shaped arms are still attached to the band of raw steel. They are left like this for now as it makes them easier to transport through the next few stages of the production process. The wiper's job is to clear your windscreen. This means they'll be exposed to all of the worst weather, so they'll need excellent corrosion protection. This device is used to paint the arms. The particles are electrostatically charged using 80,000 volts. The water curtain keeps the painting area isolated by filtering excess paint out of the air. The arms are sent to dry and the process of turning the fresh rubber into wiper blades can now begin. First, the raw material is squeezed into the extruder. This forces it into the right shape to make a continual band that when cut in half will form two separate wiper blades. Now, like this, there will be very long wiper blades, but this is only the beginning of the process. Next, the long band is passed through a hot salt bath, which toughens up the rubber. And now the band is cut to size. This factory produces wiper blades for a wide range of vehicles, all of which need different model windscreen wipers. With the blades cut to the right length, the two parts can now be separated. A spinning guillotine splits the band in half perfectly. And the result is a fresh wiper blade. To make sure the rubber quality is high, samples are taken from each batch and run through rigorous tests. Here, dirty water is sprayed on a mock windscreen and the wiper's ability to clear it is monitored. This nozzle is blasting snow at the car in a wind tunnel at minus 30 degrees Celsius. Each wiper has to survive 24 hours in these conditions, non-stop. If they can't clear the snow or they jam for any reason, they fail. The engineers used this time to assess the design of the wiper blade arm as well as the unit's performance. When they're satisfied the blades and arms are up to the task, the engineers will start assembling them.
This is an important but repetitive part of the job in the wiper factory. Her task is to feed fresh blades into the machine so they can be joined together with the arms. The robotic carrier will slide the holders over the blades and clamp them into place. The new units are then sent past a camera linked to a quality control computer. Human eyes are also used to check each new set of wipers that emerge from the machine. As well as removing all the dirt and muck that are sprayed onto a windscreen, the wiper must also cope with bigger objects like dead leaves in the autumn. Then there's excessive dirt from a muddy excursion. Manufacturers recommend that you clean your wipers now and then, as this will prolong their lifespan. And a squirt of window wash will keep your view clear, whatever the weather.